Hello fellas. Welcome to the next section, completing the web application. In this section, we will add alerts, create progress bar, settings page, and finally create content in user info tab. Now we move on to the first video, alerts. In this video, we are going to create alerts, which are very common components of every web app and customizing alerts. It's time to create our first alert. Keeping the same code of the web app from the last section, right before after div main, you must have your breadcrumb. We will replace breadcrumb with your alert. We just comment the breadcrumb code and just create an element with the dot alert class in combination with the state of the alert, alert success in this case. The code for creating this alert is really simple. Let's run it now. Wow, we created an alert with just three lines of code. Well, it's time to create dismissible alerts. We just add this block of code line to the alert component. This will create a close button that will dismiss the component using the data dismiss equals alert attribute. Let us run the web application now and we get the close button. When we close it, the alert disappears. If we remove the close class, the button looks bad. We add the close button again. Now it's time for us to create our recipe for the alert. We have two tasks. First, we need to add a title to dot alert and then use the links inside it. Let's create a heading element inside the alert. We add the heading tweet alert. When we run it, we get the result. Let's adjust the CSS for the heading inside the alert. Once this is done, we run the page. The final result of adding the title must be like this. For the second task, we have to add some links inside the component. Bootstrap gives us a little shortcut for this using the dot alert link class in the link. We add the HTML code right after the text. We give the class as alert link. The alert link class will give the correctly matching color for the link in response to the kind of the alert shown. Next, we add the text. Let's refresh the page. Here we have our link. To finish our first alert usage, let's just add one last fancy thing in the CSS. We add a border for this alert. When we refresh the browser after that, and check the final result, we get a nice alert. With that, we have successfully created and customized the alerts.